Hey guys, it's PudgyWoodgy54, and today's video is going to be my April cage tour. Um, and today's actually my first cage tour, but whatever. So, in here, this is she has a Critter Trail 2 attached to a bin cage. So, Pudgy is right there right now, but um, here we go. So, let's start with the Critter Trail. If we start to the left going to the right, we start with her lazy lookout, which is where she sleeps a lot. As you can see, she's brought all this toilet paper up here and um, that, and I have a little layer of bedding in there. So there's that. And excuse the, cr um, the crunching noise. She's chewing on a Fiesta rice puff right now, which I gave her as a treat. So now, as we if we take the um, tubes down, then we go into her base, which is where right here on the second level I have her sand bath. And as you can see, it's a little sandy up here. I don't know. I guess it's like her little beach area. And then um, I have Pudgy. So let me open up the door so you guys can see. Oh, there she is. Okay. So, here we have, um, like, oh, hello. How are you doing? Yes, I'm talking to you. Alright, well, there's Pudgy, and she's just saying hi. Anyway, um, so if you come down here, I used to have her food bowl right here, but now since I've moved this here, then I have to put, I don't have it there. So there's Miss Little Munchkin scratching. So over here, um, now if you go down here, we have her water bottle, which is actually a KT water bottle. And it's a glass water bottle. So see how it's right here. I, I looked for the Living Worlds one, but I don't think they sell it where I am. It, this one, the KT one, just has a little duck in it. But there's that. So now if we go, I have like a coaster right here, which I can't show you like on top of it because it actually has the name of where I live, but it's like a thirsty rock thing. It's also really good for grinding down her, uh, her nails. So I have that. Oh, here she comes with a giant bunch of toilet paper in her mouth. Oh, there she goes. So, um, I'll just put that back. Alright, so here I have her medium flying saucer. Now, I usually, in here I have a, usually I have a red silent spinner attached to here, and I have her green igloo in that corner. But I just got this, and I thought it would be nice for her to try it out and all. So, it's usually, um, there's usually more stuff in here. And here's her food bowl right here, which is, um, the green food bowl that came with the Pinot Trail. Let's see? And the doors, as the doors come, they're just spring-loaded. See, there's two of them on this cage. So, now I have up here, this is, I guess you'd call this the third level, or whatever. I don't know if people really count this as a level. But anyway, um, here's that. And if you open this up, I have a little barbell wear, um, it's a wear barbell chew toy right here and I just have the up here and the bedding I use is Carefresh it's just a white bedding so looks like Pudgy's going to sleep now good night okay um now I have some tubes and I have a three um a connector that goes three ways and that goes now into the bin cage on the top of the bin cage this is not that pretty whatsoever because my dad and I did it we used black duct tape so I'm gonna use a little I'm gonna put on some colorful duct tape I'm here to just kind of brighten it up a little bit but there's that and if you open this up then let me take the lid off so it's not in the way here we go 
Then in here, this is her bin cage. Now, um, right here, I have a uh, Whimsy Paragon alligator. And as you can see, this has been not on a lot. She really enjoys these alligators. She chewed off all the teeth here. So my brother, actually, I let him theme this cage, and he themed it dragon, I guess. So here's Pudgy's little lair. It's just a reptile coconut house. It's ceramic. So um, there's that. And then around the sides of that, I just have some rocks that I disinfected from outside. And there's toilet paper everywhere. It was a lot neater when we actually did theme it because... But now Pudgy's been in it, so it's not. We have rocks on both sides. And then here is a... Um, I think this is a National Geographic bendable bridge, and I just have it flat. It's like leading to her den, or whatever you call it. So underneath the alligators, I have one on each side. Underneath them, there's some apple orchard chew sticks in like a flat row. There we go. So this is like a really... I don't know what you'd call it, but there's a lot of chew toys in this one. So here I actually, I actually buried all the sticks on this side. And then here is a treat chew stick. Oh, the camera's not focusing. Sorry, but this is a treat chew stick. And alligator just goes on that. So that's actually pretty much it. I'm going to um, retheme it, and I have just a ton of other toys I want to put in here. And I think Pudgy's... Yep, she's going to sleep. Good night. Oh, she looks like she's eating. Should we say good night? So this was a lazy lookout that we added on. Good night, Pudgy. Here she is. Um, it's a lazy lookout that we added on, and um, so it did not come with the cage. I just kind of switched up the tubes a little bit, but good night, sweetheart. I'll see you later. But, and that will kind of wrap it up for my April cage tour. So, thank you so much. And, um, I'm actually thinking about adding on, or not adding on, upgrading, um, to a tank instead of, um, a critter trail and a bin cage. It's either going to be a 50 gallon or a 25 gallon. Oh, and I also have a small little surprise for you guys. I am getting guinea pigs at the end of the summer, so I'm going to also do some major room redoing for that. So that'll be it for today, and thank you so much. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, enjoy your day. Bye.